Hi, my name's Janelle and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited to be sharing my me made wardrobe of winter. I just wanted to start off this video with a quick little disclaimer. I wasn't really aware how it wasn't quite common knowledge that countries in the Southern Hemisphere are in the opposite season to the Northern Hemisphere. And I live in Australia, which means I am just coming out of winter and into spring now. So these are the items that I've made for my wardrobe during winter because that's the season I'm in. So yeah, I just wanted to clear that up because I get a lot of questions asking why I'm making winter clothes so far in advance. I'm not. It's just the season I'm in. So I hope that clears things up a little bit. So let's just jump in and let me show you what I made this season. So something that I spent a lot of time on this season was my second sewing pattern, the hazel dress. So this pattern is now available on my website if you'd like to go have a look. Obviously, I did make a couple of hazel dresses for my wardrobe. The first one that I'll show you is this one here. It's made out of this beautiful soft rayon ditzy floral print in a beautiful navy blue colour and the print is this beautiful sage green and mustard yellow floral which is just so adorable I think. I actually made this dress during my 100,000 subscriber live stream and if you watch that live stream you'll know that I wanted to try and make a boxier version of this dress and I kind of experimented a little bit and to achieve that look I decided to skip the lower darts of the bodice. That just helps the dress to be a little bit more loose and not as fitted around the waist which is a really really comfortable style actually and I'm so happy with how this one's turned out. It's perfect for wearing over the top of some of my blouses and turtlenecks. It's just a really comfortable dress to just throw on and I'm really really happy with the fit of it. So if you've got the hazel pattern and are wanting to make a more loose fitting dress then yeah totally have a go at leaving those bottom darts out. The dress still works out perfectly, it just gives this really nice comfortable loose fit. The next dress that I added to my Me Made wardrobe this season is this beautiful tiered tie up strapped version of the hazel dress. So again I used my hazel dress pattern for this dress as well. It's made out of the most beautiful grey seersucker fabric that I picked up from an op shop second hand and it's just the most beautiful grey colour. I guess almost like a duck egg blue grey and obviously the gathered maxi skirt is just divine. Look at that. There's three tiers and it goes all the way to the floor on me. It's just such a beautiful dress and I'm so excited for it to warm up so I can wear this during summer. Yeah, I can really picture myself wearing this on those really hot summer days. And I did share the tutorial on how to make this exact dress. So I'll leave that link down below so you can check it out if you would like to make a dress like this one for yourself. And the tie up straps are just adorable as well. I'm so happy with this dress and I think I will definitely make more like this in the future. This next dress I actually shared in a recent thrift flip video. I'll leave that video link down below as well if you'd like to check it out. It's this dress here, this beautiful polka dot with the most adorable shirt sleeves. The before of this dress did not look like this at all. It was a really weird oversized nightgown style dress is the only way I can describe it. It definitely wasn't very nice on me at all but I'm so happy with this thrift flip. I've managed to make a dress that is easily one of my favorite dresses I've ever made. I'm so in love with it and I got quite a few comments on that video saying that you really love this dress as well. Again I think this dress is just going to be a lovely one to wear during the warmer months and the polka dot print is just so adorable. I'm really happy with this dress and yeah if you want to see what it looked like before and the whole transformation of it definitely check out my recent thrift flip video. Next up I have probably Oh, I don't know. It's really hard to pick a favourite when I see all these beautiful items sitting here on this rack. But I think this next one might just be my favourite from all my winter makes. It's this turtleneck here that I actually shared the whole making process of in last week's video. Again, it'll be linked down in the description below. It's this adorable ribbed turtleneck top with the cutest little frill neck. 
I was really inspired by a top that I saw on princesshighway.com, which is a clothing brand that I get a lot of sewing inspiration from. And they shared a top very similar to this, and I was so close to purchasing it. But then I found a fabric that was really similar, so I decided to make it for myself. It was very much an experiment. I'm not that confident with stretch fabric, but I'm really, really proud of myself that I gave it a go because this turned out so cute in my opinion. It was definitely a challenge but a really good project for me to tackle because yeah I just feel a little bit more confident when it comes to stretch fabric and I've got a really cute top at the end of it as well. So now I have another hazel dress to show you. So with every sewing pattern I create I have a step-by-step -step video tutorial to go with it just to help show the instructions in a clear and easy way and this is the hazel dress that I made in that video. It's made from this beautiful really soft cotton fabric. It may even be a, a rayon blend fabric. I'm not exactly sure of the composition because I actually picked this one up on eBay and look at the print. Isn't it just the most beautiful floral print you've ever seen? It's obviously very much my colours and yeah I just as soon as I saw it I knew I needed to have it it's pretty much the most rosary print you'll ever find I'm just so in love with how this dress turned out obviously I love the hazel pattern I think it's just such a versatile design perfect for wearing on its own or like I said before it's perfect for layering with a blouse underneath or a turtleneck I'm just really happy to add this dress to my me made wardrobe it's just so beautiful definitely one of my all-time favorite dresses I have ever made Oh, and by the way, all my dress sewing patterns have pockets. So this hazel dress here has pockets as well. So of course it's my favorite. What's not to love? Okay, next up is a dress that I've made recently and the tutorial for it will be available very soon. So this is kind of like a little sneak peek. It is this absolutely gorgeous dress here. It is made out of the printed rayon in the prettiest floral print. I'm not often drawn to the color black, but there's something about this fabric that I'm just so in love with. And I decided I wanted to make a really oversized, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a tiered skirt there, an oversized tiered dress with really comfortable long sleeves. To me, this is the perfect winter dress. It's comfortable, oversized, has long sleeves, and the tiered skirt is just, ugh, oh, I've got a thing for tiered skirts at the moment. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this dress is just lovely. And I can't wait to share how I made this dress soon. I will be sharing a tutorial on how to make exactly this dress. So I'm really excited to share that. So be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, um, because yes, this video will be coming out very soon. Next up, I have this cute little top, which was also part of my recent thrift flip video. This top was a dress, but it was a really, really short, tight fitting dress, which to be honest, just wasn't quite my style. So I transformed it into this cute little top. I haven't worn this top much yet because it's been still pretty cold here in Tasmania, but as soon as it starts to warm up, I cannot wait to wear this more. It is like my dream top. It's such a beautiful color and it's just really flowy and comfortable. And I think it's going to look perfect with a pair of high-waisted jeans. I just think it's going to be a good one to make really easy everyday outfits. So obviously I didn't make this one from scratch. I only did a few little changes, but I wanted to include it because it's definitely a new favorite of mine and I'm really happy with the end result. Okay, so this next one, I'm so excited to show you. It's very different for me, not something I've ever made before. But winter is all about getting cozy, so I decided I wanted to have a go at making my own pair of pyjamas. Let me show you them because they are so cute. So I found the cutest floral printed cotton jersey fabric at Spotlight and as soon as I saw it I knew they were going to be my dream pair of pyjamas. I actually shared the making process of these pyjamas over on Instagram. I used their new reels feature to show me making these. So definitely go follow me on Instagram if you haven't already because I do share a few different things on there that you don't see here on YouTube. I actually used the same pattern that I used to make this turtleneck. It was like a turtleneck dress pattern and I've just kind of cropped it to make a top version and then I changed it up again to make this pyjama top. But I'm just so in love with it. I've got these cute little 
peach coloured cuffs on the end of the top and at the end of the pants as well and it just makes them so comfortable. I also used a pattern for the pants as well. It is this one here, McCall's 7691. It's actually a whole pyjama pattern. I didn't really love the top of it though, so that's why I kind of made up my own. But the pants are perfect and it was such an easy pattern to use, so I definitely recommend you check it out. And like with the turtleneck, I'm really proud of myself for using stretch fabric for these. I actually didn't use my sewing machine to make these at all. I used my overlocker and just played with the differential feed on my overlocker to make the stitches stretch nicely with the fabric. Um, and I'm really, really happy with them. And they've just made these cold winter nights just that little bit more bearable. And now that I've made myself a pair of pajamas, I don't think there'll be any going back. I will only be making pajamas from now on because they're just so much better. And the last two items I have to share are these adorable shirt tube tops that I actually shared a tutorial on how to make a couple of weeks ago. It's actually crazy how easy these are to make. And I've been seeing them for sale a lot on the internet and on Instagram a lot as well. And so I thought I'd have a go at sharing a tutorial on how to make them because they are just so, so easy. And it only takes like 30 centimeters worth of fabric as well. So if you're interested in making one of these for yourself, instead of spending a ridiculous amount of money on one, then I definitely recommend you check out the tutorial on how to make these. They are quite time consuming to make, but once you know how to do it, it's so easy. There's nothing stopping you. And I can't wait to experiment with sharing a little bit more next season. One last thing I do want to show you quickly. If you saw my winter sewing plans, you will know that I had plans to start a new knitting project. And I did start it, I just haven't got anywhere close to finishing it yet. It's taken me quite a long time, but I thought I'd give you a quick little update and show you what I'm working on. I'm making a cardigan, but so far I have only made the back panel. So this is what it's looking like so far. It's quite a tedious make, I'm not gonna lie. I think I've decided I like a bit more of a challenge in my knitting projects because it's just straight stocking stitch. It's great for doing while watching TV and things like that, but it's just not much of a challenge. So I think that's why it's taking me a bit longer than it probably normally would to make something. Obviously knitting is quite time consuming, but usually if I'm really into a project, I can't put it down. Whereas this one I'm not, I don't feel like I'm really rushing to get on with, but I'll still keep going at it. And hopefully next season I will show you a completed cardigan. If not, I might start something else. Um, because I really love the shade of this yarn and I want to make something really nice out of it. The cardigan would be amazing. I just need to get my act together and actually finish it. But now I'm up to the front panels. So yeah, I just thought I'd quickly give you a little update to show you what I'm up to with my knitting. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of what I managed to make for my Me Made wardrobe during winter. I would love to know in the comments below which item is your favourite. It's always really satisfying to see everything I made during the season nicely here on one rack and I feel really lucky to be able to add them to my Me Made wardrobe. If you enjoyed this video then be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching!